Yes guys, how is it going and welcome back to the adventure and today we are off to the King Power Stadium for City versus Leicester. Leicester haven't started the season well, obviously the Rodgers out is going round the King Power, however he's got a grip of the lads in the last couple of games with a 4-0 win at Wolves last week. That set them off on a good foot to hopefully get some results for them. However, our away form isn't up to our normal standards. We've only won three times on the road in all competitions this season. West Ham and Wolves in the Premier League and Sevilla in the Champions League. So we need to get an away win today. So make sure to hit that big red subscribe button and like the video. And let's get off to Leicester for City Take on the Foxes. Okay, we've made it into the King Power Stadium. Obviously, the team moves. No Harlem for us. No Bill Bowden. I think he's on the bench, but Harlem's not in the squad. I know we got a knock at Dortmund, so that's not too good. But Julian Alvarez is more than capable enough uh, to lead the line. I think it's Jack Grealish and Bernardo Silva as the forward three for City. So no penalty taker on again. Oh, no more penalty miss But Leicester, obviously, they look good as well. It's going to be a good game, to be honest. I'm very excited. And this is my seat. I'm at the end. And there are the Leicester fans, right on the seg line, ready for the madness. Here come the team for some weird anthem. Come on, City. We stand in alone, without a dream in my heart, without a love of my own. Play, man! Hammer off, atmosphere's electric, let's go. Are we never away in a way? Lost last week, can we lost two days? We don't get fucked because we're all pissed off. MCFC! Okay! Shoot! Nice. Oh! Done! Game's terrible, but I'm getting heavily. I'm still on the same line, but all for the games. Alright then, half time at the King Power, 0 0. Not surprised by that. Again, we don't look like scoring and they've come to love them behind the ball. Highlight of the half, Rodri's header tipped over from Ward and avoid us one on one. Uh, another good save from Ward. He's been alright, he's done what he's needed to do. Uh, but obviously, I'm sat right next to the seg line, so of course, I'm going to get abused for this. However, it's nothing that I've heard before. Get some original jokes, lads, if you're watching this video, because it's nothing I've heard before and they're really poor. Anyway, the first half was poor on the pitch. Hopefully we get a better second half. We need to do something about our lack of goals, obviously. We can't rely on our new Norwegian Viking to score every goal for us. And I think when we get into the forward areas, we just turn and pass it back. We're happy with keeping possession. Unless they're happy putting 11 men behind the ball and allowing us to have possession. So it's a bit of a, they're happy and we're happy. But obviously we need to put the ball in the net. And this is what we were struggling with last year. And it feels without Harlan, we've got back to last year. And when 11 men uh, are behind the ball against us, we struggle, so I'm hoping that we can we can find the goal in the second half, and uh, I can do more of a bit of a vlog for you guys rather than uh, surrounding here. Well, here come the team. Let's have about a second half, shall we? Here we go then. Second half. Come on, City. Let's uh, try and beat the bus that's parked in front of the goal. Here we go. Chance. Good intensity from the start. Oh. KDB. <laughs> what a goal! Kevin De Bruyne! Oh, Kevin De Bruyne! Have I been going for ginger abuse since the start of the game? And it's my ginger brother who opens the scoring. If Carver isn't real, I don't know what it is. 1 0. Now, this is after the goal. Every single Leicester player behind the ball, including Jamie Vardy. Just no intent of attacking. They're just happy to defend and try and get us on a break. And it's boring to watch. Yes! Oh, I'm happy. Well, really good. Just need to keep going, find another goal and break down this bus. Well, Jamie Vardy, who loves a goal against us, is coming off. We've got Ian Acho, our old boy, coming on. It's good to see Vardy not score against us. He used to have a field day against us every time. Shit. Oh, 
subscribe if you're from there anyway full time one nil i don't think we played fantastic i don't think we played well especially in the first half but second half we were a lot better but my ginger brother with an absolute masterclass strike gave us this victory fantastic win for city unbelievable very very happy uh, the only thing i'm not happy with where i was sat today it was just a little bit madness and uh, yeah i'm down for away day madness but it's a little bit too far for me like there was stuff there were coins and that being thrown and stuff like that all i want to do is watch the match and just have a great time so unfortunately i just couldn't get out of there and got squashed at the end but it's an away day I, i'm down for it and uh, if they want to give me abuse about my hair color that's fine but the one who's ginger on the pitch gave us the three points what a win today singing from minute one to 90 and then, well other than the abuse that we've been getting on the seg line didn't hear a peep out of the Leicester fans I thought our fans are absolutely excellent say journey home to all you blues I love you Pat bye guys There we go guys that is my experience here at the king power stadium massive three points for us if you haven't joined the video make sure to smash the like subscribe down below and i'll see you guys tomorrow for a very very special vlog from wembley from the nfl broncos at jacks very excited i'll see you guys then i'm on the next city game peace out from leicester